Good morning. Uh, back to Snippet Pixie Dev. Yesterday, we'd almost finished doing the snippet placeholder. So a snippet expanding within a snippet and so on. Um, but I hit a bug in the way I'd implemented it. So, uh, where were we? In the tests. So what we're doing is we've got a test where the body of the snippet starts out as a snippet placeholder with snippet backtick as the snippet to be expanded. Um, and we have a skeleton snippet. Oh, yeah, it's another file here, which says that one is this is level zero, and then it expands another snippet with snippet one, which goes level one and then level two and so on. Uh, what we expect is to have level zero, one, and two because there's a hard limit of three expansions just to stop things getting out of control. Um, but it fails. So this is what I'm expecting. Level zero, a new line, levels, this is level one, new line, this is level two, and then a non-expanding on a new line, the next snippet. But when I run this test, we get these extra dot dot dots at the end of the expanded version. So I need to find out what's going on. Somehow. What's the uh, so snippet three has, yeah, has a dot. Snippet one. So this. Yeah, so there's three dots, and somehow... No, that's correct. That is correct. There should be three dots. The way I've written it... Right, yes, 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 yes. It should be three dots, because that's... They're in the snippets and we're expanded within. So we'll get snippet, blah, blah, blah. The contents of snippet one, which is this with a dot, which has the contents of snippet two, which is this with a dot. Right, okay. So I probably shouldn't have these dots here because we're expecting whatever. Yeah, we shouldn't really finish off with a dot because if you expand in a snippet that ends in it, let's do this. This will make more sense now. Yeah, and then snippet five has its own ending and no further. Yeah, okay. Right, so it's my mistake. It was the snippets. Okay, so I'll just save that. The snippets were incorrect, so if I run that, Oh, <laughs> now my test state is wrong because this does not have a dot on the end. Right, so yeah. Level one, level two, and then we have an ending on that level two without the dot. Okay, let's see. Passes. Whew. Okay, that's good. Right, let's just quickly run that in here. Um, make test verbose. 
so everything passes in here um, and let's run everything just clear that and I'll do a, I'll just do a make test here and everything passes there cool right that's good I'm glad I fixed that I was a bit worried what might happen there um, okay that's a good test um, but not particularly realistic and it also doesn't have a cursor in it so what I want to do is I want to do another little test here which uses the email snippet which goes hi and then puts the cursor in theory on a blank line and then follows up with a signature which is cheers team and then another snippet which is sp dash which is snippet pixie so let's run let's get this test together so it's hi and then cheers team snippet pixie okay let's see if i can if i can work this one out uh, yep, so we need that. Okay. Not on that. Okay, let's do Actually, I'll just put a, put a little comment here. Expand snippet placeholder with And here, expand snippet placeholder, which includes cursor because that's the test. I want to make sure that the cursor is put into the right place when it comes from a sub. Now, did I do sub actually? No, I didn't. Oh, well, it is it's its own thing, isn't it? It is a sub. Yeah. So, um, the body is going to be simply email which isn't a great test so let's say but yeah it doesn't matter it's fine i mean what you would normally do um is have you would just expand the email snippet so let's say um well it doesn't matter yeah just do it that's it i was gonna say normally a snippet is you wouldn't normally have a body which has just got a snippet in it so you would have something and then put a snippet placeholder in it but it doesn't matter um so right what we're expecting something like i and then two new lines the cursor would basically be where my cursor is now but then we should have 
a new line and cheers. And then another new line, team snippet fixie, I think. New line, new line, cheers, new line, new line, team snippet fixie. Hi, new line, new line, cursor, two new lines. Right, should be another one in there. And the cursor should be after this, this one here, in theory. So what we're looking for is an offset of zero, one, two. Now it gets tricky. Three, four, and I'm not sure whether it will be four or five. Five, I think. I always, I never quite remember how it works. I think it's the insertion point rather than the append. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's see whether this works. Um. I'll just move that across. Oops. Exceeds, yeah. So I will do we have a failure. What a surprise. Do what? Hi. One, two, three, four, as long as two. Hi. One. One. Two. Three. And this is actually, my guess was one, two, three. So that's okay. That's the same. <sighs> Done dots again. Right. <laughs> uh, right. Yes, I don't want... I'm a big one for uh, full stops, and I think I've used that a bit often. So, yeah, I don't need that there in the test data. Okay. So, now we'll see whether the cursor stuff fails or not. Oh, I passed. Wow. Okay. I'll just test that. If I do four here to make it fail, does it? It does. That's great. So that worked. Oh, 
I'm kind of amazed. I didn't, because I did something slightly differently compared to the Vada code in the way I handled the cursor. And it seems to be working. Okay. Uh, I think that is the snippet. So that's the snippet placeholder. Cursor placeholder. And time stroke date placeholder. We'll test it and work in. In theory. Not in practice yet. Uh, so uh, let's commit that. Yeah. Okay, so there's one more, and it's a bit tricky, because I have no idea how I'm going to do the clipboard. Um, the clipboard uh, placeholder. So that works. Uh, so it says, when the clipboard is part of a snippet's body, when its abbreviation is expanded, the current text contents of the clipboard will replace the placeholder. So now I need to get the clipboard. <laughs> so let's start off with uh, obviously failing piece of code. So we'll do an expand body Um, I guess we'll do it before cursor. Yeah, we'll do it here. Um, now we don't need much for that. We don't need the date to pass in. We just need to pass in the current string, substring, sorry. And pass it back. Just thought of a bit of a wrinkle there, actually. That cursor stuff there.
If you've got a clipboard, and that includes the cursor, placeholder, well, basically the clipboard. Yeah, there's a bug there. Okay. There's probably a bug already uh, in Snippet Pixie in the Carl Vala code. Although I haven't looked to see if I've done anything different. I probably should have a quick look. Um, but I've just thought that it kind of act, it could act like a snippet placeholder, the curse, um, clipboard one. Um, because it could contain other snippets. But by the looks of things, I am definitely not dealing with that. And so you could end up with a the clipboard contains dollar dollar at cursor, or even just at cursor. And that would be caught by this. how it offset is set to the current result, whatever that is, without this bit. And the result does not include the rest of everything that came from the clipboard. It's kind of discarded and the cursor position is just used, that's all, for whatever was already in it. Um, Yeah, okay. We will have to make sure we test for that. Yeah, I can't use any of this. Because this is all Vala, for sure. We don't have this stuff. GTK clipboard get default, yada yada yada. We have to use pure Go code. Um, yeah, so what happens is we go grab the current board, the default one, that's all we're going to deal with. Um, and then we try and grab its text. We wait for that to come back. There's a async service in uh, GTK. Um, and then if we have some text, um, we stick in the body and return that as the part that's come back as a replacement for what came in. Okay, so we've got to do something similar, but I need to go find some Go code for accessing the clipboard. I don't know if there's any kind of service for that. Um, but in the meantime, um, a kind of. I don't know whether I should deal with that potential bug right now. Because it's basically expand snippet. It's 
recursive. Although all that does is expand body. the problem here, look. Oh. How did that not complain? Expand body. Expand snippet. Expand date. Expand curse. Okay. In the Varna, when do I do the expand clipboard? Do it after date. I suppose it doesn't matter, as long as I, if I do a recurse, yeah, okay, I think I'm going to preempt fixing that bug, um, because I can see it coming, I need to sort that out, so I will do this, I will basically Reproduce expand snippet, but I didn't even get that comment. I just how how expands a this is copy paste stuff, isn't it? Right, so it expands a cursor, cursor, cursor. Yeah, we're going to have to do the same. No, it's not cursor. Christ. Oh dear. Uh, expand. Clipboard. Ah. Uh. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down. We may have some other names for clipboard later. So we'll be checking to see whether we've done them or not and whether we should skip. And then we come down and we go placeholder macro 
don't have any extra formatting for this, so we don't need that. Um, all we're doing is making sure that we have that yep so now so here it's going to be to do get contents of default clipboard And then here, it'll be the contents. We'll expand it just in case. And then if the cursor has changed, we'll be setting that. Otherwise, we'll take whatever the result is and return that as the new substring to replace the cursor placeholder. Okay. So we've got to do this bit here, which is work out how to access this system clipboard. Oh, let's just stick that in before we forget. And the body. I'm going to duplicate that. Do it nice and early. Okay. Okay, right. Um, guess we've got to go look up clipboard stuff on the go. Uh, docs or package. Don't suppose I don't suppose it'll be in standard. Let's we'll see what it comes up with. Okay.
see what these are. So this one's used a lot. Oh. That shouldn't be a thing. Okay, that might be a no-go. Hmm. So it doesn't do Wayland. This is really handy. And it doesn't tell me what, what I need, but This could be quite good. Okay, so obviously I'm interested in this Linux stuff. Dependencies. Basically one of the dev packages, which is fine. We need, you can't ever expect that if you're actually building it.
Okay, this looks uh, very good. Although X11 specific, which is a bit of an issue. I wonder if they've got any... I know they're thinking about doing Wayland. Okay, so it's probably uh, it's talking about it, as long as you had the headers there for X11, you could do it on Wayland. It's probably using X Wayland. Okay, let's have a quick look, see what's going on here. Okay, that looks promising. So I'm quite. This might be okay. Keep that one there, and then what's this one? Nope, another X. X clip and Excel. They're just basically shelling out, uh, which is not what I want. I want it to be built in because it's going to have to. So this is probably the better option, um, and it seems to be fairly well used, um, and it's been kept up to date. So let's give it a go. So I want to do so I need that. Um, have we got time? 
this year, just about, I think. Um, okay. Just thinking about where I should do this clipboard stuff because the daemon, which the manager is part of, we are going to want to do some clipboard things. It might be nice to do it in the manager and just have it available. How's the code look for that? Why? Hmm, maybe it's light enough that that is an issue. I wonder if it's got a oh, quick look at the code. This is BSD, isn't it? What license is it? MIT, that, that's fine. It's okay to look at. Uh, right. I want to have a look at the init. Let's see if it's going to complain. Initialize. Didn't it just to test and say okay. So hopefully that means it's okay. Okay. Let's just do it uh, in line for the moment and then um, and then we'll see. And we'll do it Okay, this is not going to be very efficient. I'm going to have to move this, but I just need to do something workable here. Okay. Right, please don't get rid of my... No, that's good. OK, 
Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And why is that complaining then? I do wonder sometimes about how this thing gets around to resolving stuff. Let's pretend it's working. And then... So, in theory, that's passed. And then in the code, all we have to do is read. See. See if we can get something here. So contents is equal to a string from clipboard read. Uh, read from Clipboard format text. I can leave out of that for a moment. I'm just going to force the issue here. And we'll see what happens. Oh, it's done it already. Yeah, cool. All right. You needed a top level. You needed a little bit of a poke to get it to notice that it needed to check everything. That's fine. All right. So. In theory, that might work. Hmm. 
Right, I've just copied that to the clipboard. Um, this is where it's going to be a bit icky, is doing the tests. So I'll have to probably do the right that they did in the, in the um, The demo code. So let's make a uh, let's make a change to this. So I don't want to change the how many we've got because then I have to go change all the tests, like do counts of what's what. So let's take um, Let's change this one to clip test. Yeah, it should be okay, I think. Um, and this is clipboard contents to a dollar at clipboard. Okay. And then we will take just copy of this really. Expand body clip. I just need to say level, really. It's just the snippet. Uh, so do the thing. Don't really need to talk about that. Body is Yeah, I'm just going to cheat here. No, actually, what we'll do is we'll do this and then Um, what we'll do we'll do a test where we just use the clipboard and I'll have to write to it in a minute uh, I expect
something. And then something like that. I mean, basically, I'm just looking for failure now, just to see that that doesn't look like that, so I can see what's going on. See if it even reads it. Here, we're going to have something else. So we're going to have clipboard contents, and then something. Um, and again, I need to write the clipboard before this test. Uh, so we'll get rid of that again. All right, so that should fail miserably, but I'm hoping to see something other than that coming out of here. And we'll see what happens. It worked. So that is what I put into the clipboard and have just put into the clipboard again. Good. <laughs> That's great. Right, okay. Um Let's do let's do some wibble wobbling then. So we need to um, put something in there instead. So something for the clipboard. And then we're gonna do Uh, yes, first time of error, isn't it? Clipboard dot init, um, and then we'll do is no error there, hopefully, and then we'll do um, clipboard. Right. Uh, so clipboard format text expect. Now I'm not sure whether that's going to work. How do I make that a uh, byte string string of bytes? This is where my no, it returns a channel, but I don't care, do I? So I should be right. How? All right. <laughs> Fine. Uh, that's good. So in theory, does the thing, but it does return. A channel, I should double check what I should do there because I wonder if I can test that. Can I test that? Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know how to work with channels and see if they've got anything in them. Uh, just as a quick test. So we'll forget about that for the moment and we'll just wing it. So in theory, that should pass. And I should be able to do that. So this one, this test, we're going to have clipboard contents, which comes from the clip test. Then it should have a clipboard in it, which should, in theory, be this still because I haven't taken it out I've just written to it uh, I've tested it and then I should find the same thing there so in theory that will pass nope Ooh. oh oh cursor offset Haha, -ha, that means it's passed. It should be minus one. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, and I gotta go. Perfect. Okay. Uh, but I'll do a quick test here whereby. Because that's just reminded me. Um, let's do the same as. Oh, no, I can't. Where's the cursor on email? Oh, I can do, actually, I can do this. So what I can do, I just want to test the cursor changes as well. If I do a sub thing in there. So if I do that, something for the clipboard. Let's type here. That's what we expect. And I'm going to put that.
stress is going to be there. Expect the same and the cursor offset should be uh, one two uh, sorry zero one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that's testing the recursion kind of It worked. Okay, cool. So if I just break this just to make sure. Yep, definitely got 11. Smart again. And make test the face for the whole lot all good great we have a clipboard placeholder smart okay and i really gotta go should be in a stand up in a minute um commit directory implement and test clipboard placeholder okay that's good. Happy days. All right. Time to go. Um, but that sets us up for now actually using that. So the next session I'll be um, implementing the expand function on the snippet. Um, sorry, manager. Um, passing the snippet or something like that. Uh, and doing an extra uh, CLI command for get or something, get snippet or something like that. Um, or maybe expand, makes more sense, maybe expand snippet. Uh, maybe get, simpler. Um, okay, uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you take care, bye.